because there has been a steady erosion of our consciousness of things other than physical. Remember we used to have religious holidays like Christmas and Easter. Have you noticed that a really good Christmas now is a whole lot of stuff sold to a whole lot of people? Same with Easter. It's a buying, marketing frenzy, isn't it? Especially in the cities, huh? There has been a steady erosion of our consciousness of things other than physical because our calendar has directed our consciousness only in that direction. That is insidious. So I think then this is not just an indictment of the Gregorian calendar as such because other solar calendars or lunar calendars that are used in some cultures that, that will the same. It's based, if it's based on the cycles of the moon, it's just as physical, isn't it? So yes, it is. An, an Islamic calendar or Jewish calendar that they're lunar, are they just as bad then for that? They are, but not as concentrated. They were also... They why, were all, is it, why is the solar calendar worse then? Uh, this, this particular calendar is worse because now this calendar has been adopted as the commerce calendar. It's the calendar by, on which all things are bought and sold. Every computer is programmed with this calendar. To a certain degree, all those other calendars were physical calendars. They have all gone into less and less use, haven't they? because they had some spiritual aspects to them. And because they did, they were shunned. They were thrown away. It was all narrowed down to this is the calendar and this is the day. Do you know what the word dogma means? Anybody out there know what the, you know what the word dogma means? It doesn't sound like a good word, does it? The word means unquestioned belief. Dogma. Doesn't sound very healthy. You know what the biggest dogma is on earth? What day it is. <laughs> Nobody even questions it. And if they should, that person's crazy. Yeah, this is a really powerful tool to dominate people's consciousness, which is senior to their body. And it is senior to their actions. You see, there is a cascade of event. It goes like this. Consciousness, then light, then thought, then action. Consciousness first then light, then thought, then the event. In every case, in all ways. So, you control somebody's consciousness, you got them. Soul, mind, and body, you got them. So, here we are, all of us from birth, including our parents and our grandparents from birth, all of us have been brainwashed with this focus. Every one of us, me too, every one of us has been brainwashed. Welcome to the rinse cycle. You see, most, uh, uh, first of all, you, you've, you've probably heard about other calendars. Like we were talking about the Hebrew calendar, the Islamic calendar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all indigenous calendars, all of the most ancient indigenous calendars had something in common. All of them were 360 days. 360 days long. Well, the archaeologists 
they understand that that is the vague solar year, is what they call it. And they have the opinion that these ancient people were so primitive that they couldn't figure out how long the year was. So they just approximated it into 360 days. Well, the Maya had a 360-day calendar. We're going to be talking a whole lot about it. They also knew exactly how long it took for the Earth to go around the sun. They had a calendar like this, the Hob calendar, which was a 365 and one quarter day calendar. All these ancient civilizations had 360 day calendars. Maybe they were looking at something other than this motion of Earth around the sun. Maybe they were paying attention to something other than physical evidence. It's possible. We'll take a look. The Maya actually had two calendars at the very center of their civilization. One was called the Zolkin. I'm going to go to the bigger pen. One was called the Zolkin. Spelt like that. It means, this means count and this means day. So this whole thing means count of days. And the Zolkin calendar was 260 days long. Those of you who have studied something about the Mayan calendar are probably familiar with this one. This is the, the astrological calendar of the Maya. Or the personal calendar of the Maya. Now, who, who is, knows about the astrology part of the calendar? Anybody out there? Oh, okay. One, one person. Oh, like the, like the astrological thing, the aspects of the Mayan calendar. There is an astrological aspect to this, to this particular calendar. The, there are 13 intentions on the part of creation Thirteen intentions and twenty different aspects of creation that are represented in this calendar. Thirteen times twenty is two hundred and sixty. So there's a pattern. As a matter of fact, that's what this is right here. This uh, is a tool that I invented and designed and had produced. And what this tool does is it will take the Gregorian calendar, month and day and the year, and transpose it to the Mayan calendar and show you what day it is on the Mayan calendar. Okay? Today happens to be seven wisdom. Seven is one of the intentions. Seven means alignment with divine will or ethics. And the aspect of creation is wisdom today. So according to the Maya and this calendar, all of creation is resonating with the energies of divine will and wisdom. And that's the purpose of the day. 